Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shakil. So today I'll be sharing to you about the master, how to apply master law school in IIUM. In this uh, IIUM master law school, they have two. The first one is under Kulia of Ahmad Ibrahim Kulia of Law, the I call, and the other four, the LLM is under the Harun Hashim Law Center which is they are separately but they are under one kuliah if you're graduating under Harun Hashim Law Center you will be un actually under the kuliah um, Ahmad Ibrahim Kuliah of Law or IQOL okay um, master let me explain about the four master first regarding to the Harun Hashim Law Center they have four master all together they do you can do it the shortest one is uh, only one year because they have three semester this is for uh, master of master of business law international law administration of islamic law as well as islamic banking and finance so this four master is under the harun hashim law center hm harun hashim law center <laughs> and then um this four um about this four uh you can do it only one year that's the advantage and most people are doing this uh, kind of LLM actually are working so it's really great because they have time to do their master as well as working and it only take one sem one year one year means three semester semester one semester two semester three and it's a back-to-back -back semester there is no there is no semester break it's only one week semester break maybe something like that if you want to join the master of comparative law if you want to take that you have to have a law degree like llb however if you are if you were in a law degree a law graduate then you can apply for llm which open to everyone Okay, for Master of Comparative Law, it's cheaper because it's provided under the kuliah and under the university. And it's cheaper. How cheap? Mm, it's around, you can get around 10,000 to 15,000. That's a range. Okay, for Master of Comparative Law, they have three. Three kind of uh, mode. The first one is research mode. The second one is mixed mode. And the third one is coursework mode. So I start with the research mode. Research mode, the shortest time you can do is two years. And definitely you will do research. You have to have a topic as an supervisor. So you do you do you will do your research. Two years minimum. And for mixed mode, uh, the minimum will be two years also because you have research and you mix also with the uh, with the coursework you have to take six subjects coursework and the other the other the other plus you have to take uh, you have to take the, the the research so six subject of subject and one research so it's coursework uh, it's mixed mode so it means but the the research of people who do research mode and research in mixed mode is different it's different how different it's the requirement for example like how long how many pages how many words that you have to write down write your thesis dissertation so it's different in that part maybe in mixed mode it's a bit light it's lighter than uh, research in research mode Okay, the third one is, which is I did last two years, last three years, 2017, 2018, last two years, I did uh, Master of Comparative Law. I took coursework because it's really like a fast track for me. And um, it you have to take, okay, you have to take like eight courses, eight courses, one courses, it's, um, it's five credit hours. So the minimum, the MQA requirement minimum for a master is 40, 40 credit hours. So 40, 40 credit hours, you only have to take eight subject to complete your master to, to entitle you to as a master holder. So uh, you just take eight subject, eight subject, 
um, one uh, two subject is compulsory which is legal research methodology everyone will take it like if you want to do master and comparative law it's a subject you have to take it and we learn how we compare the law as well as the harmonization and everything we learn here and another it's another six subject you have to take uh, at least one Islamic subject and or at least one civil subject uh, one non-Islamic subject like law normal law so what I did was uh, I took these two compulsory I took uh, jurisprudence for Islamic law and the other five I took all civil law you don't know how it, you don't know how the master is like when I was doing my undergraduate I thought of master is really hard because me surviving the law degree the law school itself during my undergraduate is, I don't know but when it comes to master it's a bit easier so I think that's fine so let's get to the point how you want to apply okay this part it's really easy you just google um, the admission of uh, IIUM I'm gonna open it right now right in front of me I hope you can see so I'm typing a admission IIUM this one and okay this one you have to sign up if you want to sign up you just click register account and you will register you are an alumni or not none of above if you are from others university if you are alumni then you click alumni your previous metric number your email see so i go to main page mine this is mine so for example i will create new application just create new application here which one uh you are applying for postgraduate and intake next semester create application and this is all my information which you have to fill like uh, name identification card which i already registered so they they already filled for me so after you go for by data you go for program selection program selection you will see um, which one you want it's laws halal management because this is all undergraduate which one you want so for law students of course you're taking law it's either phd or master okay this is for master applying for master of comparative law for applying uh, there is another way for applying under harun hashim law center which i will make another video of that and which study last time when i did it it was uh, full time full time then you can do one year but part time minimum two years means that you have to take uh, five subject you have to take all together eight subject two subject in one semester so you only use 10 credit hours in one semester so all together is eight semester but if you do full time you will take four subject in one semester for one subject is five credit hours so one week you spend five credit hours it means okay i didn't tell you about the class the class is from 5 p.m to 9 p.m so it's after your work session it's easy for you okay this is like what i said before uh, you want to do research coursework or mixed board if you want this is my honest opinion if you want like one year just take coursework if you want some you want attend the class you miss the class you want attend the class and you want to take some subject as well as you want also to do some research like just just do some research because you want to gain experience or you want to gain knowledge on how doing research then go for it as well if you want to do full mode full mode of research also can because uh, with this research actually it can help you to continue your PhD when you it's enhance your 
research skill. It's really good, actually. And if you want fast, then take coursework. So you're gonna add the program. So you already add the program. Now you can see your master comparative law is here. So when you add program, then you go for your academy. And okay, before that, if you want to add more program selection, if you want to add more, you can add more. Um, uh, you can add more like this is number one. Number two, you can choose law. You go for oh, only one. For example, like okay, if you from law school, you want to go to business and management school, and. You're gonna take um, Master of Science Islamic Banking English medium full time coursework. Then you add. Okay, once you successfully added, they will be listed at number two. So this is uh, for example like you want to apply number two so they will see if you qualified for taking master of comparative law but if you're not qualified for that then they will go for your second choice so they would if you get master of science at least it, this is one of the master that you want to, to apply so you put it here you're interested in this area so once you're done here you go for the academic uh, they want to see your academic background here master degree what is qualification uh, bachelor degree the spm so you have to add the uh, qualify your qualification and if you have research and publication also you may put it here and language as in for example like ielts toefl so have you taken no i have to but i because i'm and alumni the english will be exempted because i already done it before so for next you click for works experience you can add your works experience i had work experience but uh, this is new so i have to put it again okay, so i didn't add my works experience they will consider that so if you are applying and without no scholarship you have to tick this one if you are under scholarship which organization you have they want to know they want to know everything okay so then you go for supporting documents this is where you upload everything every document that they ask you for example your of course if you're international they ask for your passport if you are local they ask your identification card and all the documents sporting document like your bachelor degree your result your what we call it transcript your transcript what they need is this one so you can see eh? a document supporting photo you need the photo preview which one is my photo ah cannot preview okay close identification card or passport payment slip please upload payment after this i will tell you position working experience if you have then just upload qualification master spm <coughs> this is my high school my bachelor as well as my master so you upload here so this is the list eh? you take note uh qualification qualification translation okay if your uh, qualification transcript is not in english then you have to translate it then you have to upload it uh, in english version english version so this is your scroll don't make confused this is your transcript this is your scroll they want to see also your scroll and um, please note that if you want to upload please upload because transcript for bachelor especially you have two pieces so please upload in one document one P pdf document it's easier because if you upload only one page by one page then you cannot upload more they, they just allow you just to upload once 
then if not you or you send them you send to them the only the first page then the second page is missing so take note of that so qualification okay if they have translation then you can put it IELTS uh, this is my IELTS so IELTS done if you're not having IELTS but if you if you don't have IELTS there's a matter because when you admit if you are not uh, alumni then you have to go through the exam of English exam don't worry if you don't pass it doesn't mean that you have to drop out this law school but you have to go through the especially international student you have to go through the English class and the South Bay they have but it's for example if you plan to do master only one year then it has to be tracked until two years you have to do one year in English one year doing English language only but it's good because um, the English of IIUM how they provide how they teach it's really convincing it's really good okay so um, application this is my preview application you have to check first uh, this is my personal data this is my CGPA and my SPM my IELTS okay. so <coughs> okay uh, on preview you can see this payment information for local it's 100 ringgit for international it's hundred dollar so yes that's all so this is supporting document checklist you have to upload here your payment and how to pay is this one okay this is the way you have you pay you can pay by jump pay you can transfer and then okay I read for you um, for application processing fee it's 100 ringgit for Malaysian or 100 USD for international is non-refundable so you can pay by jompe or mobile banking look for jompe uh, internet banking also you can use jompe just bill a code you, you copy the bill code then you pay and second you you can use this telefree transfer it's for international mostly for international bank transfer yeah uh, this is the transfer and after you make payment it's either of John pay or telegraphic transfer you go to e-payment okay e-payment you go to uh, this one fee e-fee because you're paying the processing fee huh, see? processing fee student fee once you become student if you want to pay fee then student fee but you applying for a student then it's processing fee processing fee for international local so put your reference number not match number reference number this is my match number for PhD where is my reference number okay if you want to know your reference number you go to uh, home then you can see this is your reference number this one so many so you take your reference number this one you copy then you go for uh, and then you modify back you modify it you go for payment where is it ah oh, this is this is <laughs> so you paste it here student name your name IC number and 100 ringgit and you pay by debit which bank you pay okay after you pay you submit they will give you a receipt a receipt okay after that after you pay then you have to you have to this one you have to save this one okay this is the bank slip number transaction date and number of bank and the receipt after the e-payment give you receipt then you have to save it then you have to prove of payment then after that you save then halas you submit
you declare everything what they want then you submit so I cannot submit because I didn't pay yet so that's all roughly how to apply in master actually this is also works for uh, master in anything okay I try to modify which area that I can apply go to program section um, if you are from architecture you have a lot of program this is uh, all the program if you are from arts and social science which I R K H S, a lot of masters and PhD including law yeah law is under social science Arabic they ask you Arabic or this one language studies so many things so it's not only for law I'm specifically mentioned about the law because I know so because I know about the comparative law and how many subjects and what not right but because other courses the, the way of applying is the same but I don't know how what is the requirement and everything something like that okay I hope you I hope you understand and if you have any question you can just ask in the comment thank you